Here's another extraordinary story. This is the way they take our money and completely waste it. The House of Lords <laughs> has quietly admitted uh, it is spending £840,000 a year on a team of health and safety traffic marshals. And this is for a tiny little one-way system for the chauffeur-driven cars that go into the Palace of Westminster. So these traffic marshals cost us, the taxpayer, £840,000 a year mm. just so that lords well, can park their cars. What is mad? You could probably stick up a few signs and say, well, it's a bit like a multi-storey car park. Just follow the signs. But, oh, no, they've got to have these marshals. And what is staggering is if you break down the amount of money, each traffic marshal in their high-vis vest pointing in a you oh, know, yeah. certain direction is getting £93,000. I want to be a traffic marshal. Uh, uh, just That's get, great. I mean, it is ridiculous the <laughs> amount of money that uh, our authorities waste on this kind of thing. It is an absolute scandal, really. Yeah. 90... £93,000 to, to, to sort of direct traffic. Need some traffic. You can stick some signs up. Uh, as our producer Ryan has just said, they all need a smack. They do. <laughs> Naughty. What well, uh, is ridiculous. It is. Uh, but uh, anyway, I uh, must go down and check that out of Parliament. Uh, now, uh, we have to talk about um, how much your house is worth. Well, well, I don't, you, you I don't know why rent, I rent. I don't even want to say how much it's worth because the amount I'm paying in rent is ridiculous. But if I wanted right. to buy my decrepit old little tiny two bedroom bolt hole in London, I think actually genuinely it's worth something like 1.7 million, which is mad because okay. that's London prices. Not that I can afford that. Hence being a renter until I'm 70 years old and can move under a motorway bridge and macaques. Well, look, uh, my, my house is it's up in Hampstead. It's worth a few quid. Uh, so I'm thinking of selling it. I'm thinking of uh, relocating it. I'm going to move to Paris, near Paris. I'm going to buy the uh, Chateau uh, de Mainville. Uh, and uh, that, there it is. There it is. Now, that, ladies, and, ge that, ladies and gentlemen, is the most expensive house in the entire world. Uh, yours for just £363 million. Pounds. Yeah, it used to belong to the King of Morocco. That gaff did. Yeah. I'm thinking, Kev, once we uh, <laughs> finish uh, you know, our, our good run of the last six months yeah. at the end of this week, should we go there and just sort of like enforce squatters' rights? They won't even find us, actually. We could just go find, have a different wing of the high seat and it'll take 20 years for someone to discover we're, we're in you're, there. you're you're putting me down a bit financially, yeah, Alex. I think I could probably raise a mortgage for this. Uh, well, that you could have done before you had to pay that tax bill, remember? Yeah, actually. <laughs> IR35 and to, all that. Come to think. <laughs> Come to think of we all we right. all know about that tax. Right. right, further here's some more expensive houses. This is the most expensive house in America. That I believe that's shite. in Florida that's in Florida. That looks rubbish. Uh, that? And I it's 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 worth how much? Two hundred and ninety three million dollars? $295 million. Now, the guy yeah. who owns it uh, was flying over this place, Naples, Florida, which is the <laughs> west coast of Florida, was flying over it. He saw this sort of waste ground and thought, mm. by the scene, he thought, that looks like a nice plot of land. So he paid a million dollars for it. Oh, and right. He built this. Uh, it has entertained presidents, Clinton, uh, Bush. Is they've it? all been there. Uh, I think it looks uh, like a detention centre. Yeah, I don't it, like it. It doesn't look that great, but it's too... Well, from an aerial view, it's like a detention you, centre. Yours for £293 yeah, million. No, pounds. Uh, there's another one uh, we were going to show a picture of, but it's it's in Regent's Park. And how much is that one worth? That's a 250 million quid, I think. 250, 250 million, million quid. quid. That's, That's a big can we mansion. Have eyes on? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm going to make a choice. I don't know which one, but I think probably the Chateau d'Armain Villiers is for me. Yeah, no, I like, I like France. Bit of a francophile. Million quid. Yeah. Uh, unbelievable that any house could be worth that much. I wonder how much the King of Morocco got for it when he flogged it. Uh, but either way, uh, that is the world of super expensive property for you. We 